All right, guys, I'm gonna walk you through a quick ball fade tutorial on myself. It's gonna be fun. at the top as you can see so I like to take it kind of low on the top that way it kind of blends in with that spot and I like to give myself like a start off in the mid and go up high in the crown area so a mid high fade um, and I'll blend my beard in a little bit as well yes I do have vitiligo guys for you guys that don't know what this is this is called vitiligo I will do the number one open so it's like a one and a half so you put your number one guard on it Open the lever, one and a half. We'll do that over the top. I'm not gonna put a cape on because I'm gonna take this shirt off once I get home. Down. See this spot's a little darker than these spots, so I'm gonna close the lever to blend this with the, with the two spots right here. So I'll just close my lever a little bit. Am I blended? I'm gonna do that and just go over with the one lever open, guys. Remember? Oh my god. That just happened. Wow, I was filming a video. That just happened. So I'm going over the top of my head with the one guard and I took the one guard off and I just cut the top, I cut the spot right there. You see that? Oh man, it's all right. It's a good thing I got about 23 years in the barbering game where I can fix my stuff. I could always just go higher with the fade, so it's cool. But if I would have had the lever closed, woo! I put the guard back on. Lever open and go with the one, one and a half open all the way around through the head. The mistake I just did, look, you can tell right there. So that's the one and a half guard, the number one with the lever open, open. Um, and that's the clipper without the guard, just the clipper itself open. See how it's lighter right there? But it's cool, I'll blend all that in. I'll get a mirror. And I'll look from this mirror to the back to kind of see what it is that I'm doing. You see right here, I have this cowlick. I have to pay really good attention to cutting it in the direction that it's against it, where it's growing. All right, so we've taken it down with the number one guard lever open all the way around. Again, I didn't go this far down because all this is gonna get cut off with zero. So now we're gonna use the seniors lever closed and I'm gonna make my initial, my first guideline. Then after that, I'll bald everything else off. But let's go ahead and start off with making a guideline. So since we made that, we made that mistake right here, we cut it down. I'm gonna go a little higher. Usually I will start right here at the end of the uh, C cup and I will go straight across. So what I will do this time, since that happened, I will start right here and I will go up towards that spot. Now I'll use the mirror to look at the back and connect both lines. Going up, remember you you went up with the look, with the guidelines on the side, so make sure you gotta go up in the in the back. Like I like it, going up at a high high in the back towards the crown area. Now we're gonna ball underneath with the peepog trolls trimmers with 
the cycle blade. I'm gonna try them out, see how good it gets it down to the skin. Now guys, this wasn't zero gap when it came in the box, but I did zero gap it myself. I eyeballed zero gap this one, and it, it gets pretty close. Set our first guideline, went back around and balled it underneath the guideline with the T-Pop Trolls. They did their thing. I'm really amazed with these trimmers. The blade that came with the trimmer was, was pretty good. The only difference between the Psycho blade and that blade is that that other blade had the edges was, they were, they were, they were a lot more rounded than this, than this blade is. Um, these have a more sharper edge to them. So when you hit the corners with it, you get a good, good, sharp cut. The other one, the other blade, I would I would use those for like kid cuts. Now we're gonna start creating our, sec our second guideline. Lever open, and we're gonna create our second guideline from, from right here, about half an inch up, going up with it. So I'm gonna try not to, you see how it's kind of light right here? So I'm gonna try not to go too close to this light spot. I'm gonna try to keep it more alongside this way. That way, whenever I go to fade this, I'll still have some hair grain, some hair fibers here. Especially on this side, since I took it down with the with the clipper open by accident. But here we go. Second guideline is made. Remember, I did have to go up a little higher, so more than a half an inch. I think I ended up doing two inches, an uh, inch and a half on this side because I had accidentally took off the number one guard and I went over it with the lever open, just the blade, and it took it down. So we made the guideline a little bit bigger, which is fine. We'll just blend all that in. That's the second guideline. And remember guys, we did use the number one open all around on the top. So we'll start off with the lever open and then we'll crack it just a quarter closed and we'll start fading down. Once you had got your lever closed all the way, put on your half guard, lever open, same process, blend down. Close your lever halfway. Close it all the way. Close your lever as you're blending down. We use the lever open. We're gonna blend down. As we blend down, we're gonna close the lever. Close the lever as we blend down right here. We're gonna close the lever as we blend down right here. This is the taper blade and it will not take out this bald line. It's not zero gapped. And I zero gap, I use the zero gap T-pop trolls to bald the bottom so we're gonna need something that zero got to take out this line I don't necessarily like to go back with the trimmers that I made the bald line with because it's very easy to make another another bald line another guideline and I don't want to do that so I'll use the seniors remember corded lever open with the fade blade Right here, it's a couple spots right here. 
I can detail it's a little dark. I'll put the half guard back on with the fade blade though. And I'll lever open and I'll hit it. Kind of flick out as I'm going on it. Getting on that dark spot. Using the corners. And uh, closing the lever and fading down. Remember I have to use my zero gap senior with the fade blade to take out that bald line that I made with the T-Pop Trolls. So I'm gonna go back to the back. Lever open, fade blade. And try to stay along the line, the bottom line. If you don't hear any hair, any hair being cut, close your lever a little bit. Fade up. The more you do it, the more comfortable you'll become, the more, I guess, um, used to you become to doing it and uh, familiar with where and how it sounds when you're cutting hair. So I'll cut the part where the widow's peak, I mean, where the cow lick is. I got it faded down a slight bit. I might hit it with the one with the half guard here. But now this part is the part where the hair grows up, so I'm gonna have to fade down. With the fade blade, it's a little hard because it's very easy to make a whole another guideline, and you don't want to do that. So you gotta be careful with that. The fade blade doesn't have a taper on it so it's, it cuts straight down. So what I do is I don't press down into the skin, I kind of just glide it over the top till I hear the hair crunching. That's when I know that it's cutting. And slowly start seeing that transition. All right, that looks okay. Now we'll just blend this down. Remember, we use the number one lever open, so we'll start with that and we'll close it as we fade down. So, use the lever open with the number one. Listen to here. You don't hear anything being cut, close it down. Blend that down, we'll throw the half guard on it, and we'll do the same process, lever open, close as we fade down. I think that's just because I have those dips, those indentions right here, so. We'll close the lever a little bit. that down you guys can see the fade now we're gonna go on to the edge up going down I got that Count Dracula thing going I usually always just cut off the widow speak and go straight across I gotta show you what I'm talking about let's keep it let's keep it t -pop.
for the highest point. This seems to be, this seems to be my highest point. So I'll go from the middle to that highest point. And I will connect that. Try to make sure I don't go past too far. This is usually where my vertical bars are. I'll go ahead and cut that in. kind of know where to stop my edge on that corner and now I will, I will just line it all up to this this high point this high side man I've been cutting my hair since I can remember man and uh, me and my brothers my cousins we've been cutting our hair for a long time and as soon as I picked up the clippers and Learned that I can get myself a clean edge up, man. I just kept going with it. I've been doing it for going on like 23 years now. Living in Houston, it's, it's tradition to have a clean fade, clean ball fade. So we, we had to keep a clean fade or a clean edge up. Shout out to my boy Steven, my brother Steven. My boy, he's the one that got us going with the cuts, man. He started cutting his own hair and I seen him cutting his own hair and I was like, man, you know what? Let me do that, I can do that. And I just kind of took off with it, man. And here I am with it now. So I noticed that this side was a little higher than this side. I'm just gonna kind of um, try to even it out. Not too much, I don't wanna go too high up. I don't wanna look like the, uh, Dominican over here and shit. Yeah, they're calling everybody Poppy. What's up, Poppy? All right, so as y'all can see, my vertical bars are a little light. But this is where I'm, I'm going light at. And then also here, I know, I know you guys seen where it was light right here. Um, see this vertical bar is light, this vertical bar is light, light spots. But I did have to go up on my edge up, but also you guys have to put in play that I have a pretty big widow's peak. So taking that off, it kind of helps me line up my, get my line up straight. There goes that. This is no color enhancement. This is just a straight line up. No color. I am gonna put color enhancement because it's my preference. I like the way it looks with color enhancement in it. And because I have access to it and I can just retouch it up whenever I want. All right, we'll go ahead and get that color in it for y'all. Let's see how much color I got in here. I have the compressor in my toolbox that I've been using for a while. It works really good for me. We got this right side done. Swap hands. You boys in there, crispy. This stuff's good, man. I like it. It doesn't rub in the way I mix it. You can go outside and sweat after like maybe 10, 15 minutes and you should be good, man. That's it for that. Now let's go ahead and start, let's get started with the beard. I'm gonna brush it down a little bit. All right, we're gonna go over the beard with a number three. Keep it nice and tight. Clean look, you know. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go down with the grain. My hair is really curly on my beard. So with the number three, it's just gonna get all those wild hairs that are sticking up. It's giving me a, a really clean look. So the number two cleaned it up pretty good. It's got it looking nice and smooth. No frizzies. That's what I like. Um, now we're just gonna fade it, fade it in. What I like to do is I, I like to start at the very top and I'll fade down. As I fade down, I'll open my lever. Pretty good little blend. I don't want to blend it down too far down because I like to have a nice lineup. Do the same thing on the other side. A 
back with the T-Pop Trolls. I think it came out pretty player, man. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank y'all for hanging out, man. Don't forget to like this.